Hi, this is Pastor Roger Jimenez from Verity Baptist Church in Sacramento, California. Just making a quick video today to answer the question, should Elizabeth Smart's captor be released from prison? Elizabeth Smart made headlines in 2002 when she was kidnapped from her Utah home. If you're not familiar with the details of the story, her father was actually trying to help a homeless man and brought him into his home and had him do some work in order to help him financially. That man's name was Brian David Mitchell. That man returned to the Smart household on June 5th, 2002 and broke into Elizabeth Smart's bedroom where Elizabeth Smart, who was 14 years old at the time, and her younger sister were sleeping. He kidnapped her at knife point, and he was assisted by his wife, Wanda Barzi. Wanda Barzi is now being released from prison, and Elizabeth Smart feels like she hasn't received justice for the crime done against her. Brian David Mitchell and Wanda Barzi held Elizabeth Smart captive for nine months. She was raped daily and abused both emotionally and physically. The question is, is it right that Wanda Barzi be let out of prison? The Bible tells us exactly how people like Brian David Mitchell and Wanda Barzi should be treated. Exodus 21 and verse 16 says, And he that stealeth a man and selleth them, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. A society that chooses to reject the truth of God's word is a society that will not only fail to punish criminals, but it will keep the victims from receiving justice. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 11 says, Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the hearts of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. When a woman like Wanda Barzi is released from prison, this will empower other wicked reprobates to hurt innocent people. And it's just one more example that the Bible is true when it says the law of the Lord is perfect. I hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching.